Now let's talk about some important cytokines that you need to know for the boards, and we'll separate these by the cell that makes the cytokines. Let's start with macrophages. Macrophages produce IL-1, IL-6, IL-8, IL-12, as well as TNF-alpha. So let's talk about each of these individually. IL-1 is an endogenous pyrogen. It causes fever and acute inflammation, general acute inflammation. It activates the endothelium, which will then start to express adhesion molecules and allow the lymphocytes to traffic to a certain area. It also induces chemokine secretion that causes a chemotactic gradient to recruit leukocytes to an area of infection. IL-6 is another endogenous pyrogen, so it causes fever as well. It's also secreted by T helper cells. It, as well as fever, causes a stimulation of acute phase proteins or immediate type of inflammatory markers that we can see, like CRP. IL-8 is the major chemotactic factor for neutrophils. IL-12 induces differentiation of T cells into T helper 1 cells. Remember, this is that cytokine milieu that we talked about for induction of naive T helper cells into T helper 1 cells. It activates NK cells as well and also can be secreted in certain circumstances by B cells. TNF-alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha mediates septic shock. So when you think about shock, you should remember this cytokine. It activates the endothelium and causes leukocyte recruitment as well as vascular leak. So the hypotension that you see in shock is mediated through this tumor necrosis factor alpha. Now what can we do to remember these certain cytokines? There's a mnemonic that's helpful and it's called hot T-bone steak. So bear with me as I go through this and it will make sense in a minute. So the hot is for IL-1. Remember that it's pyrogenic. It causes fever. Then we have T-bone. The T first, that's IL-2, stimulates T cells. Next is IL-3, that's the B, stimulates bone marrow to create more leukocytes. Then we get into the steak. The 4 and the 5 are associated with E and A. IL-4 stimulates IgE production. IL-5 stimulates IgA production. So that's how we can remember 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For 8, we can remember clean up on IL-8. It cleans up by activating neutrophils to clear infections. So the neutrophils come in and clean up the infection. Moving off the macrophages, let's talk about T cells. All T cells can secrete IL-3 which supports the growth and differentiation of bone marrow stem cells and functions in a manner similar to GMCSF, or granulocyte and monocyte colony stimulating factor. In Th1, we have the secretion of IL-2 and interferon gamma. IL-2 stimulates growth of helper and cytotoxic T cells, so it's a pan T cell stimulator. Interferon gamma can activate macrophages as well as T helper 1 cells. Remember, this suppresses the T helper 2 cell response. It also has certain antiviral and anti-tumor properties, mainly through activating NK cells and CD8 T cells. T helper 2 cells make IL-4, IL-5, and IL-10. IL-4, remember from our hot T-bone steak, induces differentiation of the T helper 2 cells, promotes growth of B cells, and enhances class switching to IgE mainly and IgG to some extent. IL-5, remember that's the A in the T-bone steak, promotes differentiation of B cells again, enhances class switching to IgA, and stimulates the growth and differentiation of eosinophils. IL-10 modulates the inflammatory response. It inhibits actions of activated T cells and T helper 1 responses. It activates T helper 2 responses. IL-10 is also secreted by what we call regulatory T cells, which is another group of T cells that's involved in immunosuppression. So IL-10 is one means by which these regulatory T cells can suppress an immune response. 